afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Welcome to CBS 3 Eyewitness News at noon, now streaming live on CBS and Philly. And I'm Janelle Burrell. The victim in this tragedy is being remembered as a family man. He leaves behind a wife and three children. Wakisha Bailey has more on the victim and the investigation from Jefferson University Hospital. We're looking for the male now. Once again, he's wearing scrubs, the color blue, he had a mask, and he's got a black backpack on. Philadelphia police rushed to the ninth floor of the Thomas Jefferson Hospital just after midnight on Monday. Police identified the suspect as 55 year old Stacy Hayes, a nursing assistant who shot and killed his co worker, 43 year old Andre James. The two people knew each other, and, and, and early indications is that they were actually friends. Still wearing his scrubs and body armor, police say Hayes left the hospital driving a U Haul truck. An hour later, he was located in this wooded area behind the School of the Future in West Philadelphia. That's where police got into a shootout with Hayes. Two officers were injured. We later learned Hayes was armed with two guns, one of which was a rifle. The offender struck by the officers was struck in the upper body and in the neck. We learned that he was wearing body armor and was carrying multiple weapons uh, in addition to the long gun, which was believed to be an AR-15, was also carrying some form of a handgun. While Hayes remains in critical condition at Presbyterian Medical Center, the family of James must now figure out what life looks like without this husband and father of three. My grandson got a football game, supposedly the week coming. He don't have no father to be there with him no more, practice, none of that. So I'm, I'm devastated. He took away my son. That was my son. And as far as the two police officers, they were transported to Presbyterian Hospital yesterday, where one has to undergo surgery and the other one has been released. Reporting from Jefferson, Wakisha Bailey, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.